Hello everyone, today I'm with my passion. He's from UK, he's an amazing guy and uh, he did a uh, femur operation with the LON method and we are almost more than half yeah, process yeah, yeah. and he reached six centimeters right now and uh, we will talk about to his process. How do you feel? How is your lengthening process um, until now? Until now, like right now, I feel like really good. Like I feel like I've reached a nice height now where if I'm barefoot, like I don't feel short. Like before, I would just naturally just feel short. What was your height before? Uh, 162.7. Okay, it's almost close to 170 right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go. What, what, what's your goal? Um, my goal, um, so in feet. The goal is there. Yeah. Goal, goal yeah, the is goal there. there. Um, so in feet, I was like five foot four and a half. Yeah. Um, I never like to say that, yeah? So roughly now I'm about 5'7". Okay. I can happily, proudly say I'm 5'7", okay. yeah? Um, I would like to do two more inches to reach 5'9". Um, it means so plus five, 10. Yeah, well, it's a bit more than 10. So it would be 175.5, uh, which is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, so two, yeah, maybe just, just under two centimeters more than my uh, original goal. Okay, let's see your flexibility, let's see your bone healing. Uh, you know, it, it really depends on your bone healing, flexibility, but by the way, he's really flexible, guys, and uh, he's doing an amazing job. And can you do your daily routine with your fixator? Um, okay, so my daily routine, um, what I'll do, I'll wake up in the morning and I've got a roller, and I'll roll it. Um, I'll start by sitting on it, I'll roll it, on the back pins, then I go all the way forward to the front pins, um, to about my calves. Then I'll have to get up, turn around, and then I roll it from like my knees all the way to my front. Um, then I will get the stretch bands. I'll hook them onto my feet and I'll pull them in. So then I'll do my quads. And at the same time, I'll pull them up and I'll do my hamstrings. Um, I'll do it like one leg at a time. And then another stretch, which um, which is really, really good for the quads, is I'll lay on the front, yeah? Yeah, and I'll, I'll literally, yeah, like pull it from the back and I'll hold it, like, you've got to time these things. Um, it's not easy, but I find that that one where you pull it from the back, if you can't sleep, it's something that really helps you to just relax for some reason. It's just, it really kind of takes it out of you and it helps you to just, just chill out. How was your sleeping? Um, sleeping is up and down. Um, this is, it's, it's not an easy process, I'll be honest with you. Um, I put myself through a lot of challenges. Um, I've done like body transformations where I've got like a six pack and muscles and I've gone from, um, when, I, when I first started training, I was seven and a half stone and um, like me training myself, I put on five and a half stone in a year. And I got like really big, so I like to challenge myself. But this is the hardest challenge ever. This is the hardest challenge ever. But with the hardest challenges come the best rewards. It's about to pain or? Um, do you know what? It's almost like, it's pain, but it's like a numb pain. It's almost like somebody pinching you and it's like, it doesn't necessarily hurt like, ah, but it's constant. It's always it, there because you're doing lengthening, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like people have explained it to me like it's having like a clamp on your arm and you know, as soon as it gets removed, you forget about the pain and people are like, yeah, I'll do lengthening again. I'll do it again and again and again. And so it's like, you forget about the pain okay. kind of thing. Of course. Do you know what I mean? It's not your body material. Uh, that's why during lengthening, it's will help for you for uh, grow. Yeah. But when you remove that, uh, you will be better because Right now, your muscles getting tighter and tighter every day, but after removal, your muscles, I mean, you will be recovered yeah. and then you will be much better. And yeah, but until now, uh, right now, it's, he's really good and he can walk with crutches. He can do your daily routine exercise. I mean, uh, he can go to gym for doing upper body. He's, look, he's a muscle guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Atkin, he put me through my paces <laughs> and I felt like I was back at home. I felt pumped up and everything. So respect for that, bro. Thank you so Honestly, much. Honestly, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. What's your motivation for get taller, bro? Um, to be honest, it's a challenge for me. Um, so I've always 
you know, wanted to challenge myself to see how fast I could run, how high I could jump, how big I could get, you know, um, how big I could make my forearms, make my shoulders, my chest, how much I could bench press, you know, how big I could make my quads. But um, with, um, with weight gain, it always goes down. But with height, it's forever. You know, you, your height is not going to go down if you stop walking or whatever. Maybe when you get old, very old in your But it's 70s. not about your legs. It's your, about your spine, you know? Yeah, your spine, like, crumbling down. But anyway, we're going off topic. My legs, they're going to be tall forever, yeah? So everybody, when you see me, you're going to be surprised. I'm going to be filming all your reactions, yeah? <laughs> Do you feel taller right now with six yeah. centimeters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, f I feel a lot taller. Um, like when I see people that are like five, four and a half, I'm like, no way. Like I was not that short. Like to me, somebody that's like five foot and a half looks like about like it's short. But <laughs> they they look like they're about five one. Like honestly, they like I can't believe I was that short. It's it's still hard for me to grasp that I'm actually five, seven and a half or whatever, you know, nearly five, eight. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard to grasp. Especially if I've got trainers on, um, I feel a lot taller. Um, so I'll stand next to people like Atkin, like are you, you six, three, six, four? Uh, I'm 191. Actually, 191. I don't know what's the inch. Yeah, I think yeah. six plus, but yeah. yeah. So, so this, this guy, he's just a giant, yeah? He's like a lamppost, yeah? <laughs> How about Khan? He's more taller than oh, you. Oh, Tree. We, this, yeah, he's a lamppost. <laughs> no, that's called Tree. Yeah? He's just called Tree. Yeah? <laughs> when I stand next to these guys, you know, um, I'm not as tall as them, but I, I don't feel too out of place, you know? Because um, I've still got a good um, lot of body weight on me. I'm like a decent height now. But 5'9 would be perfect with trainers. You know, I'd be 5'11 with the top of my, with my hair, you know, six foot. So it's like, I feel like I've gone from being five four to like almost six foot. Do you know what I mean? Once I reach my goal. The important thing is what you feel. Um, Are you I happy feel, or not? Yeah, I, f I feel happier in myself. I feel um, like really confident. Um, not like I wasn't confident. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a business owner, so I've got a load of businesses. Um, like romantically, like that was never an issue. Um, but it's always something within yourself um, that like you just want to challenge. So it's like, for me, within my family, I'm not, I wasn't really sure because my mum is like 150 and my dad was my height. So I'm kind of average. But then, you know, when we come out the door and we're in the outside world, we've got uh, lamppost guys like this, yeah? <laughs> And you know, he's still tall, um, but it's like now in, like, in the outside world, I'll be like an average sort of height. Um, not that I'm trying to fit in with anybody else, but it's just nice to tick that box and to just feel like, you know, just comfortable with myself. If I take a photo with somebody that, that is very tall, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with, with my 5'7", you know, even my 5'9", I'd be even more comfortable. Um, for me, it, it's, it's, it's almost, it's kind of, it's kind of it's something, it's something fun, you know, to just, to just be taller, it's, it's, it's fun, you know. Yeah, even if you can turn back uh, to before surgery, you will do that, right? Again? Yeah, yeah, I would do it again. I'd do it again. Um, it, it's, it's definitely a challenge that I would do again. Um, you know, there, there, there are days where it's really painful, but again, you know, I've had to save my money. I've had to plan my journey. You know, I've got family back home. I'm still looking after my children, my mum, you know, people that work for me, I still look after them, um, you know, and there's bills to pay here as well. So it's like I'm still constantly working. So I'm not shying away from my responsibilities. So, you know, all of those things, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of planning and preparation. It's not just you're like, just here and you're just turning and you're sleeping and you're eating and, you know, you're having a lovely little time, you know. It's, you're still working, you know, it's still a bit of a, a challenge, you know. But um, I would say anybody that wants to do this, just do it. Just do it, you know, because the results will speak for themselves. Yeah, he's doing per day one millimeter, and it means 10 days, one centimeter. 
And it of course depends on your bone healing and flexibility. If you have good bone healing, we can increase your lengthening speed. Or if you have average, we can keep same speed. If we see less bone healing, it's, we can decrease your lengthening speed. Sometimes he's stopping the lengthening because of the, you need to, you need to rest sometimes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing is, I like to push myself. So I may stretch maybe six, seven times a day. Like Atkin, he done some really good physio for me. He done a lot of scraping around the pins, um, like a special method that he does in physio. Um, it released a lot of tension around the pins. But then afterwards, I felt like going to the gym to stretch my body out. Because now what I'm finding is that, you know, my back is sort of curving a little bit. So, you know, I have to correct those things, you know. He's doing his job, but it's still my job to maintain myself, you know. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just say thank you, my You're bro. Welcome. I You're appreciate welcome. you so much. Thank you, good, you for know? good feedback, brother. Yeah. And we are working for all, uh, all our passion, of course. When you need anything, you have to text us, you have to connect each other. And we have eight, eight physiotherapists right now in the center. Also, we have medical team, nutritionists, the other securities or kitchen staff. Uh, we have a good... Uh, a good team. Even, good even, team, right. even, even the cleaners, um, the canteen staff, hello. You know, everybody here is like a, it's like a big family unit, you know? So like when you come here, they'll make you feel really welcome, you know? Um, some people, they come down to the lobby, other people like to stay in their room and stay focused. Um, I like to do a bit of everything, you know? <laughs> this is the best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot stay in my room forever, you know? Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I have to move it. You have to move that for blood circulation. This yeah. is really important. You need it, you need yeah. it. Also, you have the time, you have to go to gym, to doing your daily routine exercise. You have to come to physiotherapy session for, you know, manual therapy, of course, you need it, definitely you need it. Uh, you cannot do your lengthening by yourself in your home. You have to support with physiotherapy, uh, with the medical team, you know. That will be helpful for your lengthening process. And that's all for me. Thank you for all your answers, brother. Yeah. We're still in protest. Let's see how it's going end of process. Yeah, signing out. <laughs>
You know, people look at me in their eyes and they tell me they're 180, and I'm like, okay, all right, yeah, yeah. You're tall, that's fine, like. <laughs> <laughs> Not with me, not with me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really lost much weight. I eat quite a lot. I probably eat maybe four to six meals a day. Um, that helps me with the, with, the, with the pain, to be honest. So if I'm in pain, um, for me, personally, I'll be like, you know what, I'm going to eat a meal, you know, rice, chicken, some vegetables, um, that kind of, you know, for me, that kind of coats the pain, you know. I'm not really getting fat. Um, I can't do much cardio, but still, like, I'm, I'm able to, like, maintain my muscle mass, um, which is good. A lot of people say, oh, how come you, you, you maintain your muscle mass? And it's like, for me, I'm thinking to myself, I don't feel that big anymore. Like, I used to be a lot bigger, but... It's genetic. Yeah, it's genetics, and it's like, I've been training for 24 years. So, you know, I've, I've been working a lot for the muscle that I have. Um, so now that it's kind of gone down a bit, like, it's still there. But, like, if you see me, and I'm in the gym for, like, three months, you know, people ask me to compete, you know, so what I might actually do when all my legs are sorted and stuff, um, I might even compete for a bodybuilding competition. One thing that we didn't talk about, it's good to socialise for like your mental health because you could be in your room, you're having pain, crying, yeah, because you're emotional, because you're feeling vulnerable. Um, but then when you come downstairs and then you talk to the other people, they're telling you the same thing and then you laugh, you say, oh my God, yeah. I, you know, I had the same thing. Another guy, he said, um, he was looking at this thing on Instagram and he started crying. I was like, bro, yeah, in the morning, I was watching TV, and I'm just, like, starting to feel sad. I'm like, this is not me. But because I'm in a vulnerable state, you know, because I'm lengthening, you know, it's bringing those things out. But when you come and you socialise with people and you exchange your stories, you realise that you're all going through the same thing, just at different times. Yeah, and, and as well, what, what's, what's quite weird is, is, like, the new patients that come in that are my old height, like I say, they look really short, and it's like, they're telling me, like, may, they might even be 164, and I'm like, 164? And I was 162, and you're looking that small? I'm like, damn. But I'm like, bro, you're going to be as tall as me. Everything you know for that feeling, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's like, another guy said, um, it's expensive, but this is like my BMW. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs>